Hi Instagram, how are you all? Welcome, welcome. So excited to be popping on live here. I had a massive nudge from my guides to come on and do a live. So here I am. I'm being guided to talk about becoming limitless and what this truly means and how by becoming limitless you become more of who you truly are. So for everyone joining live, or of course if you're catching this as a replay, then I'm going to just invite you just to take a moment to consider, like on a scale of one to ten right now, how expansive and aligned are you feeling to all that you're creating? Just taking a moment now just to become to become aware of it. What are you creating and radiating at this moment in time? And just invite you just to do that sort of like a body scan, just to allow yourself to tune into the feelings in your body as you feel what this feels like and what it would be like to actually actually receive it. And then from this space to really think about well, what would it be like to receive even more? Because so often we actually cap ourselves on what we want to receive. We allow ourselves to say we desire what we think is reasonable, <laughs> possible, you know, all those things. But what would it be like to really receive even more than you thought possible? So just invite you just to take a moment to think, okay, what do I truly desire? Do I know what I truly desire? And as you connect in with that, then I'm going to invite you to just consider, can you expand that a little bit more? Just allow yourself to desire, desire more. So what do you truly desire? Just take a moment to, to feel this in your body. And when you have achieved this desire, and you've experienced all the experiences that you desire and you experience the exponential expansion and you're surrounded by all the love and abundance, how do you imagine that this will feel? Do you say hello as you're jumping on. It's so lovely to see you here. So good to see you. So just take a moment just to allow yourself to feel these feelings, to notice what they feel like in your body. To notice how your cells are responding, how your heart is responding. Let me know, how does this feel? How does this feel when you really allow yourself to feel? So as you're jumping on, I was spontaneously guided to bring five Instagram live immersions this week. So this is day one. I'll be back again tomorrow building on each day this week so um, looking forward to connecting with you all and what i'm sharing with you this week is how i broke through my own revenue ceiling and business and let go of this high risk of burnout let go of the anxiety and stop all the distractions of hours spent going down energetic rabbit holes let me know if that has happened for you and for those of you that are getting to know me my background is i used to be a senior manager for social services and had a really high profile portfolio across public sector agencies and developing multi-million pound services which was actually a marvelous experience for the entrepreneurial world and of course i brought all of those skills with me and the expertise and years of experience but that said i was working really really hard really hustling um i don't know if that resonates if you've been in that space where you've just like yes you're having success but it just feels like hard work um, my first few years in business where I was getting, you know, all the foundational pieces set up and my signature program launched and training in energy psychology and healing modalities and the Akashic Records, it was really, really hustly. There was very little flow. And what I realised was as I had swapped the corporate hamster wheel for and basically recreated the same thing and uh, created a, an entrepreneurial hamster wheel. So different environments, but same person and same experience. And whilst I grew to six figures and was working with just the most amazing clients, it just simply wasn't sustainable. It was actually just completely exhausting. And, you know, I was studying and I was contemplating, you know, what are the needle movers, you know, to be able to really make the difference. And I knew how to grow a successful business, you know, having built many, many successful businesses. And for me, I, I had this light bulb moment where I realised that the key was just completely in my identity and because I'd had massive grief grief when I left my role in social services and I remember this really shocking me and it wasn't you know 
I just wasn't expecting that kind of impact around my identity, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know if you've had this where where you've recognised that when you've had an identity shift. Let me know in the let me know in the comments. We'd love to have this conversation with you. And so for me, you know, I dusted off my psychology degree. I started to really work on my identity and how I perceived myself, and I experimented with, you know, different focuses. And I just really started to listen to my higher self and my guides and this blend and balance of energy healing and manifesting it this is how i crack the codes of becoming limitless and we call our method the helix method and the helix method this is it's an energy psychology modality that heals unresolved and hidden traumas trapped emotions limiting beliefs are all held within your body's intelligence and your energy field healing these in a nanosecond and using our proprietary protocols for energy psychology balanced with our daily success manifesting rituals and this what happens is then you can create rapid transformations in your consciousness and as you change your reality so it's super exciting it changes your life i've seen it time and time again and it's because you become more of who you truly be you get to be more of yourself you start to allow more in you can focus on different things you get to focus on growth and possibility and and, and more of life effectively and rather than focusing on the things that you want to want to fix. And, you know, for me, I've built our company from nothing using all of the methods that I use for my clients. So when I'm partnering with you, I bring you the perfect mix of energetics and business strategies so that you can live your most fulfilled life, because that's what we all want. And my psychology background, together with my energy psychology coaching and Akashic Records expertise, means I am a trusted expert to work safely with your higher consciousness and so i'm so excited to to share what i wanted to have this conversation with you about this week and this is the the thing i always say to to my clients and those that join us for our master classes whether they're joining us on youtube or facebook typically this is the first time i've come to share this type of information on instagram as i said uh, i always follow the guidance that I get from my uh, cash it record keepers and it was like you have to go live on Instagram this week I was like okay I, here I am um, so this is the the message if you're here that you are being invited to contemplate you're not who you think you are so I invite you to consider are you really truly ready to remember who you truly are and to become whoever you choose to be because we create from who we're being in the moment and so being able to really understand this and the, and the power that each of us holds this is where we unlock the codes to being limitless truly limitless and for me there's four pieces to this so think of this as four codes we have the the code of being so this is your embodied identity this is where you're holding the consciousness of your future self so this is the the version of you that's already living the reality that you're creating how you're being in the moment and the actions that you're taking. The second one, the codes of boundaries. So this is where you're holding the space for yourself, your business, your clients, honouring what you say that you will do. This is so key because if you say you're going to do something, we, we have to do it because we're training our subconscious mind. Does that make sense? So let me know in the comments. Have you ever said you're going to do something and not do it? Not do it? And is that a pattern? Because this is really important when you're wanting to manifest, because you lose the power around your word because the subconscious is like, yeah, right, because <laughs> you always say you're going to do something and then you don't do it. Does that make sense? So those are the, the, two, the two key codes. And then we have the third key code is the code of forgiveness. Hi, Shane. The code of forgiveness. So this is forgiving yourself for, this might be business decisions that haven't panned out yet judgment how often do we judge ourselves so any self-judgments any one that you want to forgive that may not have stayed in integrity with you so this could be personal as well as business if that makes sense so just inviting you to take a moment because this all has a massive impact on our energy field so the first two codes the code of being so this is your embodied identity and then the code of your boundaries so holding the space for yourself your business, your clients, and honouring what you say you'll do. So this is how you hold your boundaries. And then we have the code of forgiveness. And then the fourth code is the code of energetic responsibility, because you can only truly release what you take responsibility for. And this is including your current reality. This, and so we can create from our current reality 
probably 95% of our consciousness is subconscious. We're creating from our, sub our subconscious. So do we all have a complete handle on what our subconscious is up to? I would, you know, <laughs> put bet some money on it that we don't. <laughs> and so this is where we need to take to take the reins and to take energetic responsibility for our results, whether it's an intention, whether it's a result of some beliefs that, you know, have gone past their best before date, they're now limiting and we haven't taken care of it. And often we don't know what they are. So that's why we've got to bring them to our to our conscious awareness so that we can start to change them and to change our, our beliefs, our emotions, our identities and all the things that create our reality. So when we're taking full energetic responsibility, this is where we can truly start to collapse timelines. So for those of you that are just joining, the four codes are the codes of being, the codes of boundaries, the codes of forgiveness, the codes of energetic responsibility, and just to think of these codes as all being interconnected. And when we work with, work with the codes and the principles of reality creation, we really truly do experience the miracles of magic of the universe, also known as, as science. And so that if you're new to my world, the six reality creation principles, think of these as truths that really underpin the creating limitless possibilities and to being able to explode through your revenue ceiling in, in your business. And that's where we can really start to make a huge impact in the world and make a bigger difference. You know, strategy only in business is going to get you so far. We need strategy. Mastering the energetics is going to allow you to create with more flow and ease and exponential expansion. So let me know, is this something that you are committed to or are interested in? Are you, are you open to mastering energy psychology so you can break through your revenue ceiling and, and become, become a master manifester in life? It's good to see you. Thank you for joining. So I invite you to think of, you know, there's, there's some clear phrases and steps that you move along when you look at anything in, in life to, to master. And, you know, at the beginning, we don't know what we don't know, do we? So we're unconsciously incompetent. Um, and then we move into that, oh, hang on a second, I really don't know what I'm doing. We become consciously incompetent. And then we move to that space of being consciously competent. We're aware that of what we know. We know that we need to know more. And then we move into that space of being unconsciously competent where we just don't even have to think about it anymore. We've mastered it. We've, we're able to completely um, tap into our consciousness, our vast consciousness and uh, the huge untapped potential that that has and to be able to, to work with it and to create life, you know, beyond the original reality that we had even dared to, uh, dared to dream. So our mindset might tell us, you know, we've reached unconscious competence, the way of keeping us at a current holding pattern. Have you ever thought that? We thought, yeah, I've nailed this. And then you're like, oh, hang on a second. I've actually limited myself by, by thinking that. Does that resonate? Let me know. Lovely to see you here. Hi, Glynis. How are you? Good to see you. Hi, Sufi C. And emotion code. Hello, hello. <laughs> Good to see you here. Okay, so the principles of universal truths that I wanted to touch on so that if you're in my world, you know what I'm talking about. So the first principle of reality creation and being able to really master your energy psychology. The first one is, you know, everything is energy, <laughs> including your thoughts, emotions and beliefs. And this all forms part of your identity, part of your human Wi-Fi, what you're radiating out into the universe. And basically effectively like a magnet just drawing back to you because of what you're radiating out the second principle is energy follows your attention this is really key your attention is it is your greatest asset as where your attention goes your energy goes so where your attention becomes your intention so this is where we can really use this and be really intentional there is a there is a creative power in intention let me know in the comments do you use intention setting are you aware of the superpower that is your attention? Let me know in the comments. Is it something you've thought about lots? Not thought about it? Thinking about it now? <laughs> Let's see where everybody's at. Because um, I know that some people often will have, if they haven't thought about it, it's like, oh, of course, massive light bulb moment. And others are like, yep, I know this is really important. The third principle is your subconscious is your friend and just wants to keep you safe. And is, <laughs> this is the thing, is 100% committed to being absolutely right 
and to keep you in alignment with your identity, to keep your, you know, your behavioural patterns, which are, think of these as your default set points. And this is really key because your self-awareness is key to being able to recognise the pattern so you can create a pattern interrupt and rewire it and replace it. And I'm really good at spotting patterns that keep you at that same revenue level. You know, and we get to the roots of the behavior by working across the different layers of consciousness. So I'm gonna build on this tomorrow. So I'll be back tomorrow with, with more in relation to this. So I'm gonna dive in, dive in deeper. So I hope you will find me again tomorrow and uh, we can carry on the conversation there. The fourth principle is to create a different reality. You must have the identity of the version of you who already has this. This is, this is the code of being. Hello, hello. So who you be in any moment, the energy and intention behind actions that you're taking and the offers that you're putting out there and who you be as you spend money and as you invest money. This is really, really key. So things that you're doing now aren't creating the result that you desire. Become the person who does things differently. Just take a moment, just do a little kind of self-check and just think, how am I being when I'm taking this action? Am I in that kind of push energy of, ah, it's got to work? Or am I in a calm, flow energy? Does this, does this resonate? Let me know if this is, this is making sense. And the fifth principle is creating alignment with your higher self, your subconscious and your conscious mind. This brings you into resonance with what you desire more quickly. I see this time and time again, it's so important, and this is something that we teach within the Helix Method, because this is where you will receive inspired actions, and then when you get to take action, take action on these and take aligned action, the magic really starts to unfold. And actually, I'm demonstrating this right now because I never go live on Instagram, <laughs> and I've been guided by my higher self and my guide that I need to go live on Instagram every day this week. Um, and so I am, when you're creating from the higher planes, completely not attached to the outcome, because this is the thing, is when you're attached to the outcome, you're actually creating from the lower planes of consciousness, from the astral plane. It has a slower vibration. There's loads of ego there, and it, it requires more effort to, to manifest. So this is where, you know, you're co-creating with your higher self-consciousness, co-creating with the universe. I'm contributing to the universe. I might be being the vehicle for the universe and delivering a message to somebody who needs to hear something right now this week, and it's going to land at that the right moment for them, which would be my highest honour to, to do so. This is where we're truly co-creating with higher consciousness and uh, with the universe. And it just starts to be completely, completely magical. And one of the things I want to introduce you to on live this week is our proprietary Helix Method Manifesting Ritual. If you've been in my world for a while, let me know if you've used this, used this method at all. We've got a challenge going on in our Helix Method certification program, which is so fun at the moment because we've got a way of measuring your vibration before and after you've been doing our manifesting rituals and everybody's vibration is just going through the roof and they're doing it every day and i'm so excited to see what miracles and magic start to unfold through their commitment to doing this so it's yeah super fun we'll stay tuned because we'll share the share some of the highlights with you the sixth principle so this is where this is really key you will receive exactly what your subconscious feels safe to receive and the beauty of that is your capacity to receive can always be expanded. And one of the things that I talk a lot about is soothing our nervous system to feel safe to allow more in. Does that make sense? And for me, I live by these principles and working with them is how I broke through my own revenue ceiling. And they are the foundation principles behind our proprietary modules in the Wealth Portal, which is my coaching program where our clients are breaking through their money ceiling and elevating their money consciousness. And, you know, some of my favourite favorite client results have included clients doubling and then tripling their revenue and having really exciting results like 100k months and releasing people pleasing patterns that have impacted their pricing and sales and, you know, impacting their offering to their offering their services to their clients and, and all the things. So it's super exciting stuff. And I remember for me, when this really, really landed for me was that, you know, by being committed to these codes of becoming limitless, that's when I saw my personal results from my daily manifesting rituals, which is what I teach in the, in the wealth portal. That's where things started to change, where I really understood I am <laughs> got to take full energetic responsibility for the reality that I've created. It felt like I got it on a new level. 
Does that make sense? I just think there's so many different layers to when some information, you know, lands with us and we think we've really embodied it. And then it's like, but well, hang on, now I've got it on a whole, a whole, whole nother level. And, you know, the thing is, it's, it is easy to take energetic responsibility. I think when things are going well, it's like, yeah, I did that. I manifested that. And it takes commitment and courage to be energetically responsible when we've stopped doing the things that we know work. And the thing is here is that the cells in our body, they get addicted to the emotions that they're used to feeling, that default set point. And our subconscious is going to be a masterful ninja at recreating that experience. We can, so we get to feel that chemical hit. And this is why we can have things like, so let me know if this resonates. Have you ever had anything like this happen where perhaps you've had a, a windfall in your business and then suddenly you get, you get sick or fear can start to creep in that suddenly everything's going to go away so things are going really really well and you don't really allow yourself to fully enjoy it because you're anticipating the, the drop does that make sense or we can suddenly stop doing our manifesting rituals and then slowly but surely our frequency <laughs> the vibration becomes denser and it's harder to manifest and then the body gets its chemical fix it's like ah. Oh body was just wanting to feel that stress again because it was addicted to it does this resonate it is through our consciousness that we create our reality and this, this is where we really truly can start to bend reality so if you're up for it uh, whether you're catching me live or on the replay let's start to expand your capacity for more prosperity and your body to feel safe to allow more in so i'm going to invite you to think what is your your big big vision for yourself what do you desire to experience? What would it be like to receive more than this? Like if you just really allow yourself just to take a moment, even if you're in the middle of something, it's just to kind of, just to connect in with that vision. What is my big vision for myself? What do you desire to experience? What, bit, what would it be like to receive even more? What are you desiring to create and experience this year? If you're up for it, pop it in the comments. We'd love to see. Now, here's the thing. Our desires are created by our current identities, beliefs, emotions, expectations, and perceptions. So what will your desire be as you expand your perceptions and become more of who you truly are without the programming and conditioning? I just think this is so exciting because I believe, you know, there is a vision that your higher self has, which is beyond your current vision. So we can dream like, you know, this big, and then actually, a higher self is like, no, actually, the vision's this big. Does that make sense? Hello, hello. So if you were to think, can you feel into what that possible big, big vision could be? And then from this place, I invite you to create your intention to think about, well, what's the amount of money that you're calling in this week? What do you desire to experience with this money? And let's apply the code of being to how, how we're creating this. So how will the version of you who already has this amount feel? Well, if it's normal, they're going to feel like, I just feel really, you know, calm and confident and certain. This kind of sense of, yeah, of course it's happened. This is just how we roll. We don't want the nervous system to kind of be freaking out, going, ah! <laughs> it can feel really exciting. We want to get to, from exciting to feeling really normal. Hello, hello. So I invite you to write out. So I've just now received whatever the, 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 the outcome is, the amount of cash that you're calling in is, and then how you feel. So I feel, I feel so confident. I feel certain. I feel peace. I feel calm. I feel amazing. How would you feel? And I allow this into my being across all dimensions, planes, times, levels of consciousness. So what would be an amount for you? So I'm going to just say some numbers for you. Let's see. Let's play <laughs> higher and lower and see, see what uh, flows for you. So if you were to write out, I have just now received £100,000. How would this feel? I feel so motivated. I feel so certain. I feel happy. I feel at peace. I feel calm. Would you be freaking out? <laughs> what would you be feeling? Would it be like, of course, this is natural. 
and would it be like, oh, I'm so happy, things are working, the business is growing. So just invite yourself to kind of feel into that number. So what would it be if the number was, I have just now received 50,000? I have just now received 200,000. Just take a moment just to write out what your number is. And you want to be feeling like I feel so motivated, calm, happy, grateful, all the feels. I now listen to my being across all dimensions, planes, times and levels of consciousness. And what we're saying to our subconscious, just to clarify this piece, is as we're saying these words, it's, but you're basically saying I'm creating this across all, all the different realities. And what I like to do with this is I like to say it out loud once and then twice internally so that you're holding the vibration of this energy consistently for a period of time. So I'm going to invite you, if you're up for it, every day this week, to be just having two minutes a day, listen to the Helix Method Manifesting playlist. I'll pop the link for this below. We've got a playlist on Spotify, which is just like a collection of all my favourite tracks to do manifesting with. So you want music that really just makes your heart chakra expand. Music without someone singing words, because otherwise your brain starts to stay, sing the song. You want to be focused on what you're affirming and, and rewiring whilst your heart chakra is opening up to the music. Does that make sense? So I'm just going to invite you just to take a moment just to write that out and I'll pop the pop the comments in the in the box afterwards as well. So I have just now received the amount of cash that you're calling in. I feel, how do you feel? Three feelings. I feel motivated. I feel grateful. I feel peace. I allow this into my being across all dimensions, planes, times, levels of consciousness. I'm just going to invite you just like two minutes a day to, to do this. I don't know if you've got a Fitbit or an Apple Watch or whatever those watches are that can kind of, my one's got a two minute relax time <laughs> you can do. So you can use that, pop that on and then do your uh, Helix Method uh, rewiring and then just like checking in with your vibration to see how you feel after, you, after you've done that and starting to notice what starts to shift as you're creating those thought clouds. Alrighty, oh, how is this all landing? How's everybody feeling? Alrighty, so we have chatted today about the codes to becoming limitless so you can create an experience beyond what your current mind and your current energy and vibration is creating. I've invited you to journal on your vision and desires that you're creating for this year. And just to, you know, see if you can find five minutes a day to really capture your desires, to really allow yourself to feel them. And then I'd love to hear in the comments, share in the comments so that you can, you know, really connect with the desires and I can, I can witness you. So what's just to take a moment to think of, you know, what do you desire to experience? What would it be like to receive even more than that? What are you desiring to create and experience this year? And then how would it feel to be and experience this? Hello, hello. And if it feels aligned, please do share this live so those that are being called can find it as well and it can serve others. And then I invite you to think about, you know, at the beginning of our time together, I always invite you to think about how expansive and aligned to your intention you are feeling right now. So now, after our conversation together, it's just to take a moment, to take that pause and just to think, well, how, now how aligned and expansive am I feeling right now on a scale of one to ten? So let me know in the comments, are you a seven, are you an eight? Just do that little pulse check. I'm on track. You're feeling like a three. Where are you? What, what are you feeling? Let me know in the comments. Hello, hello. It's been such fun jumping on very spontaneously today to chat about this and I will be back tomorrow about to chat about collapsing timelines and bending reality. Because one of the things that you will notice is when you make an intention to, to live this life beyond your vision, to be able to claim more of life, the subconscious, which is really, really sneaky, <laughs> is going to create situations to keep you in a holding pattern. So I'm going to share with you one of our techniques in the Helix methodology tomorrow so that this doesn't happen. You don't get diverted and slow down your business growth and impact uh, in this world. Anyway, till then, thank you so much for joining me. It's been so lovely to see your faces. I'm so excited to see who I'm connecting in with this week. As I said, this is very spontaneous. I'm following my higher self's consciousness that was like, you have to get on Instagram now and go live. So here I am. <laughs> thank you so much for joining me. I will see you tomorrow. Um, I will be live in the morning tomorrow.
So sending you lots and lots of love. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.